Everybody is talking about war. Horror of the civil, uh, Syrian civil war. Military action. This time, we take out the entire Assad air power infrastructure. Violation of international law. Extremely disturbing images. And mass slaughter of civilians. Something has to be done now. It's uniting American politicians on both sides of the aisle, bringing Democrats and Republicans together as an unstoppable force. This always means something dangerous is about to happen, and there will be no one left to ask critical questions. U.S. military action, is it off the table? As Nothing's off the table. Nothing's off the table. Weren't things just getting a little bit better over there? We'll be coming out of Syria like very soon. Let the other people take care of it now. Very soon. That's some serious flip-flopping. There must be incredible evidence this time that the Syrian government was behind the attack, like all the other times. Isn't it weird how every time Assad makes territorial gains, he goes and uses chemical weapons on his own civilians? Such a counterproductive move. And this time, after taking back over 90% of eastern Ghouta from the rebels, he goes and gasses the town of Duma? Anyway, evidence. I think that it's the evidence is quite uh, overwhelming that the perpetrators of this chemical weapons attack, as well as previous ones, is the Assad government. Okay, so we got the evidence. Can we uh, see what it is? Have there been any reports from any UN personnel? on the ground uh, that would confirm uh, or, or lead to believe that there was such an attack and involved um, chlorine gas? Uh, I mean, or is, or is the UN itself just as much in the dark as the rest of us and relying on, you know, on no, We're not the in the position. It's the UN. Super diplomatic. He's totally going to knock this one out of the park. We're not in a position at this point to independently uh, verify the uh, the allegations. What about the White House? Someone has to have asked at a press briefing, right? What makes the president so sure that he is willing to make such a declarative statement? Uh, the president is confident. He's been uh, briefed by his national security team and being kept up to date uh, constantly and regularly. Um, on the intelligence around that, and I can't get any further beyond that. I don't think she understood the question. Um, can you ask again? Do we have any proof at this point that it was, in fact, a chemical weapon? Once again, I can't get anything beyond uh, the comments that we've already made, but we're very confident in uh, those comments. Oh, it's one of those highly likely things. If they are found to be responsible, the regime and its backers, including Russia, must be held to account. How's that spy case going for him, by the way? Yep. That awkward moment when Tucker Carlson is the only person keeping it real. And we should be skeptical of this, starting with the poison gas attack itself. All the geniuses tell us that Assad killed those children. But do they really know that? Of course they don't really know that. They're making it up. They have no real idea what happened. Actually, both sides in the Syrian civil war possess chemical weapons. How would it benefit Assad using chlorine gas last weekend. Well, it wouldn't. Assad's forces had been winning the war in Syria. The administration just announced its plans to pull American troops out of Syria, having vanquished ISIS. That's good news for Assad. And about the only thing he could do to reverse it and to hurt himself would be to use poison gas against children. Well, he did it anyway, they tell us. He's that evil. Please. My thoughts? Exactly.